Small businesses often face challenges when a crucial member dies, go out of business, or try to keep going. And who makes the decision? In the case of a partnership, the deceased partner's heir often made the decision. But the court in Creel v. Lilly considered whether that was still the case. Joseph Creel began selling stock car racing memorabilia in 1993. In 1994, Joseph, Arnold Lilly, and Roy Altizer created a general partnership called Joe's Racing. Their partnership agreement provided that at the partnership's termination, a complete inventory was to be prepared and the remaining debts or assets were to be distributed according to the partner's shares. The agreement also provided that if a partner died, his share would go to his estate, which had to offer the share to the remaining partners before selling it. Joseph died in June of 1995, and Anne Creel, his widow and personal representative, insisted that the partnership be terminated and that the assets be liquidated. Instead, Lilly and Altizer conducted an inventory, hired an accountant to ascertain the business's value, wound up Joe's racing, then used the business assets to start a new business partnership, Good Old Boys Racing. Anne sued Lilly and Altizer, alleging that they were required to liquidate the partnership and pay her Joseph's share of the proceeds. After a trial, the court ordered Lilly and Altizer to pay Anne Joseph's share of the business valuation, but rejected Anne's demand to liquidate the partnership assets. The Court of Special Appeals affirmed, and Anne appealed to the Maryland Court of Appeals.